possibly, if they find the cure for breast cancer, Mama Baldwin might have the greatest impact, greatest legacy of all. Yeah, you know, there's a, <clears throat> it's interesting. I kept all of the contacts. If you're gonna play an astronaut in a Hollywood movie and it has a decent budget, they fly you to NASA. I mean, I've seen open heart surgery at Hopkins with some of the most talented cardiac surgeons in the world in, in, in preparation for playing a heart surgeon. And so, you know, I've seen military things and been up on, you know, stealth fighters and bad them right in front of me and looked at them and went through it with Air Force guys. I mean, some really amazing things that I've seen over my career. I kept every phone number to every person ever wondering when it would be that I would be calling on kings, queens, princes, presidents. But I mean, I've met several presidents of different countries and know many of them that I can still write or write to someone that gets to them. And then I got introduced a year ago to a new CAT scan machine. It's a CAT scan machine that's 64,000 times the resolution of the biggest GE, the biggest Siemens. It's portable. It's 36 inches wide. It rolls down the hallway with a 90 pound nurse. It has 75% less radiation. It plugs into the wall and runs on 220. I mean, the number of things that they have available, but in this world that we live in now, sadly, the big guys that have the big contracts are trying to squash the development of a machine that could save so many people's lives. We could put this thing on a truck and take it in anywhere to give access to elderly who can't get to a hospital or can't afford it. But it's just, it's just amazing. This one, I'm banking my reputation on. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all in on the company. I'm on the board. It's called the C-Factor 3. And I promise you this, if you watch this podcast, I want you to remember that I made this statement. Ten years from now, there'll be one of these machines in every hospital in the world, in the world, will have this machine. That's how influential it is. If my legacy is that I got behind and made this available to extend the longevity of people's lives and the quality of their lives. No movie or anything I'll ever do will ever match that. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Any, uh, any closing? Mike, drop it. You want to just lay it on the door? Yeah, so um, just to finalize, uh, Ms. Ludmila, what do you think will be the future of the organization and how we can impact the community for betterment? What, are, what is lacking that we can present now for tonight's evening? Our mission right now is to actually have a youth center that we can have these events happening and keep the children off the street and actually have a center. Like you said, we have plenty of shuls, Baruch Hashem. We have plenty of different things, but we don't have an outreach center where children could come and feel connected an outreach center that focuses not just on children from public school settings, but children that come from a yeshiva background. Agreed. That is something that is definitely lacking in our community. And our purpose is to make sure that all the children are included and nobody's left behind. No doubt. I agree with that. I think people don't understand private school kids have more difficulty. There's more pressure on them because not only do they have to do the uh, regional educational studies, regions or uh, finals, they also are pressured to know and, you know, actually excel in Judaica studies. And Judaica studies are not not easy. They're they're very difficult. I mean, it's not difficult in a sense if you put your time and mind to it, but difficult because you're expected a lot to know in, in at a young age, at the age of 13, 14, the impact of learning Talmud, Gemara, it's very heavy. And then today in the Spider community, we, for, we implore them to learn Halachot, you know, Judaic law. So it does become difficult. And I know this from my own kids. You know, it, it, there is, I see there is a pressure that they feel and they want to kind of get out of that pressure. And I think with a youth center for the religious community as well will definitely help, no doubt. And we will support that as well in our programs. Um, I think we're going to go to break. And uh, yeah, guys, ZK, go to break. And we'll be right back. Oh, we'll be right <laughs> If we could go to break. <laughs> As, as we're going to break, just to say, I appreciate Ludmila for coming. I know it took a lot of, uh, no, no doubt. And listen, this is our first time doing this, right? Our goal is to do this many times in the, in the coming future. And our goal is to really help 
and create a synergy with all communities to make things happen.